All right, so we're at the end of the semester. As you know, for some people this is a great relief. For some people it's causing a fair amount of panic. Uh, just get your work done. Hopefully you've paced yourself. My course is a little different. Pretty open-ended. I don't impose the deadlines on you. Hopefully you've sort of moderated your work every week, done your work every week. Uh, so what do you need to finish by the end of the semester? You can see here I've posted on Blackboard. We are in week 17. The final is now posted. Please take it now. I'm going to show you where to do that in just one moment. And you have until 12.14 at 8 a.m. to finish all work. So that's next Monday at 8 a.m. Okay? Uh, make sure that you check Blackboard on Monday because uh, you have until Monday at 8 a.m. to do all your work, but occasionally there'll be people who are like, just give me four more hours, and I'll be like, okay, you got four more hours. So you have until <laughs> Monday, and make sure you check Blackboard on Monday, because occasionally I'll be like, you got four more hours or something. Okay? Uh, that's also listed on the syllabus, in case that's coming as a surprise. That's always been there. So what do you need to do? You need to finish all your assignments. If you're in my online class, you need to post all the discussions, and I will let you make up discussions, so go post to ones where you didn't get a good, good grade. And uh, you need to do, uh, this is optional, but I recommend doing extra credit. And then that's it on Blackboard. And on my IT lab, you have to do your Windows 7, one exam. So you come in here, there's an assessment, and there'll be one assessment in here open. Patrice, so one assessment there. So you got to do, you just do the assessments. I don't care about the training in case you don't have that information. That's all you get graded on is assessment. You have four here, you got four here, you got four assessments here, you have two here. And then inside exams, you need to do the office lab tests if you haven't done those already. You have to do all the chapter quizzes, those should all be done. And then you need to take the final. You can take the final as many times as you like. It'll keep your highest score. If it doesn't do that for you, let me know and I'll fix it. But I believe that's the way I've set it up. So, anybody questions about the last stretch? How many people are sitting pretty? Cool. How many people are like, okay, I'll get it done. It's going to be a little bit of work. How many people are uh, poop and masonry? <laughs> it's a different way to say it. So, uh, Carson is here to help everybody. And if you need help, Carson will definitely help you out. So, you can just get together with Carson and he'll make everything go three times as fast, if not quicker. So that's what we have to cover. Uh, just a few last things I want to share with you. In the in-person class, we just watched this. But this last week, again, I like to keep the last couple of weeks light. But this last week, we are just looking at e-waste, electronic waste. And so we watched 60 Minutes Electronic Wasteland. If you're in the online class, just YouTube that video, 60 Minutes Wasteland. How many people thought that was worth 13 minutes of your life to check that out? Cool. And how many people thought, no, I want my 13 minutes back? No, no hands. So uh, one of the things they talked about is uh, recycling electronics responsibly. And so uh, you can look for electronic recyclers here. And here in Fresno, there's Electronic Recyclers International, electronic, I don't know which one. We want Electronic Recyclers A. I don't know who the international people are. Maybe they're the same ones. But here... Uh, there's one electronic recyclers. Yeah, they're the same ones. And then they also have an office down here. Right here. See, it's electronic recyclers. Electronic recyclers. I don't know if they're the same ones or not. But these people are a local company, and they're one of the largest electronic recyclers in America, maybe the world. They dominate it, dude. I knew this guy when I was in grad school. He, uh, I went to Fresno State, got my MBA, and I met him out there. And then he got out, and he started Bulldog Brewery. You know Bulldog Brewery? You, anybody remember that? A few people. Used to be a brewery in Fig Garden. And uh, then he closed that, and he started this company. And uh, he still he has a house out by me where I live, but he also has houses everywhere. <laughs> he lives in New York now, I think. Right, so he's done really well with that company. But they always have events uh, where you could go and, you know, like twice a year, you could go and uh, donate all your stuff for free. And if you're a big corporation, 
then um, you know they help help you dispose of your electronics responsibly, and they charge you for that, which is how they make their money. So uh, you know, part of what they do is uh, just making sure that everything, all your data and everything, is destroyed securely, because that's a big deal, right? Make sure nobody else gets hold of your hard drives with a bunch of data. And you can watch their machines crunching up technology. It's kind of interesting. These guys work down there just tearing machines apart. It's kind of cool. It'd be kind of fun to go down and tour that place. I should see if we can get a tour. So uh, just along the, the lines of like, you know, um, <coughs> how, uh, you know, the, the materialism and consumerism um, involved with, uh, you know, buying things, right, including electronics. Here's a really good place that you could check out, and it's the story of stuff. And I find it really informative. Um, and so they have different uh, movies here. And story of broke, story of citizens, story of electronics. So here you can look about like, hey, how are electronics made? that entire thing, what's the, the production cycle, and where does the stuff end up, and it talks about e-waste, and then there's also a really interesting one, this is their first one, the story of stuff. So I recommend checking out those videos too. So just a real nice resource, so check that out. So we saw those. So what can you do about that? You just want to make sure you recycle your electronics responsibly. So batteries, I know it's hard, it's easy, they're small, you just want to throw them in the trash. I sometimes do it, I gotta confess, it's like, dude, I don't got time to keep track of these three batteries. I got little kids around, if they eat a battery, that's a surgery, and that sucks. So this one's going straight in the trash, right? But other, otherwise, if I didn't have my kids around, I was better when I did, didn't have kids around, right? Because I didn't mind if the batteries were laying around the truck for a month. But you keep your batteries, you can throw them away at Best Buy, they have safe battery disposal or hardware stores also. Uh, one hardware store got busted and fined because all the batteries that were being dumped into the recycling container, they were thrown into the regular trash and back. <laughs> so they got, they got fined, you know. Nuts, man. And, and then so your batteries and then your electronics. So donating your electronics like uh, uh, Palm and... Bullard, there's, what is it, the uh, Salvation Army accepts electronics, old electronics, and they try to sell them. And hopefully they dispose of them responsibly. You could also vote with dollars. Greenpeace has this guide to electronics, which are more responsible. So you could check that out. Guide to greener electronics. And uh, I don't, let's see if it tells us how updated what it is. Uh, I don't see a date, so I guess it's current. But uh, HP is good. Uh, Toshiba, not good. Sharp, not good. Samsung, okay. Dell, okay. Apple, okay. Acer, better. So this is just based upon the company's practices. So because some companies will accept your, when you buy something new, they take your old stuff and get rid of it responsibly. These people are super responsible. I don't even know what they do. Indian Electronics Company. So... Nobody thinks about this when they buy a computer. They just look at the price and what you're getting for it. And okay, I want an Apple. Okay, good enough, right? But just to be aware of people trying to do the right thing. And then uh, I feel compelled to share. Okay, so I'm not going to share that just yet. But you could also look at EPA.gov e-cycling. And so EPA e-cycling. And they'll give you a list of responsible, um, I want e-cycling, electronics, electronics, there we go. And they'll give you resources and a list of companies that are responsible. And uh, another company, which uh, the Basil Action Network, right, runs this one, eStewards. And so they, they, uh, they say which of these companies which recycle electronics are above board and which you sh aren't. And so we were looking at electronics recyclers. So we could do find a recycler. 
and uh, we want zip code 93741, Fresno City College. And so here are the ones that they like, and those are the same ones we were just looking at. Electronics recyclers, electronics recyclers. I'm just kind of curious, like it's electronics recyclers, it's electronics recyclers, yeah, the same one. All right, so uh, so that they're, they're the ones who kind of like watch the companies. Kind of good. All right, it's Basil Action Next work, the ones who do it. And then there's a website, Electronic Recyclers, but this one's probably the best, Easter's. So just make sure to make a difference, tell other people about it. You know, notice when people are just throwing stuff in the trash, <coughs> inform them otherwise. And the uh, last thing I have to share, um, this is the part I felt compelled to share, is uh, the Pacific Gyre Garbage Patch. So just in case you're not aware of this, there is a patch of garbage, plastic, twice the size of Texas in, uh, in the Pacific, twice the size of Texas, because the currents of the ocean, here's America, here's Japan and all that, Asia and Australia or whatever down here, and the currents are such that it like brings all of the trash right into this area, but it's twice the size of Texas. It's just garbage, plastic, from plastic bags, bags blown into the ocean, or plastic bottles, and uh, and it kills animals because they try to eat it, and uh, so it's pretty horrible. But just be careful and responsible. Try to get paper, not plastic. Like here, you could see a seal caught up in the trash, maybe I don't know, but it's uh, it's pretty pretty awful. So here's a turtle that grew up with a ring caught around it, right? So it had to grow around the ring. A bird, all these birds die because they eat the plastic thinking it's food and it jacks up their system. There's a really good movie. I don't know if I can remember it. Uh, Pacific Gyre Birds. Midway, message from the gyre. So that's that's uh you can check that out too, right? But it's about those birds dying. It's just like an entire movie about birds eating plastic and dying. It's pretty sad. But anyhow, it motivates you to uh, not leave plastic bags on the beach. All right. It's not just from the beach. Or anywhere, right? Try yeah. not to get plastic bags and. Or any sewage drains or anything. You gotta yeah. Be careful here, it all goes downhill. Yeah, there's another one it's which is uh. Plastic bag. This one's a mockumentary. The life of a plastic, the majestic plastic bag, a mockumentary. It's kind of funny. It's done like a nature show where they're like the life of a plastic bag, how they end up in the ocean. All right, so anybody have any thoughts or questions about that? How many people feel like the world's screwed? Nature always balances itself out, right? And, uh, and if nature decides that, you know, humans aren't good for the overall ecosystem, they'll wipe us out. Um, and maybe that will happen. But, you know, we definitely take a toll on nature and all the other species around us. And we've certainly grown to quite a size. I remember when there was only like three point something billion people in the world when I was a kid. Now there's like eight billion people in the world. There's twice as many people in the world than when I was born. California used to be pretty, you know, less populated. Like, I don't know if it was half or what, but it was crazy. Like, I remember when I was a kid, it was like more like wide open, less traffic. Do you remember seeing the mountains on the other side of the valley? Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Now we can't even see them on this side no. of the valley. So, all right, so we got today, we got Wednesday, and then that's it. And we're not getting together for finals in the classroom, so you just take your final online. Okie dokie. You guys have the rest of class to work on whatever you'd like to work on.